This episode of Redarkless.com is brought to you by Aaron Clary and his book, Bachelor Pad Economics. First, I want to say hello to all you people out there watching this. All three of you. <laughs> but a special hello to Louise Chesney. <laughs> bad pop here. I got bad news for you. And I'm breaking it off three feet up your ass. Winning. You made a fool of the world with your sympathy sinking ways. <laughs> but here at Redarkness, we don't play that game. I don't have any sympathy for you. In fact, I'm going to lay it all out and show the world what a slur you really are. And <laughs> you're not getting any mercy either. I lift up my shirt here. You can put your hand up there and feel the pulse of my cold, dead heart. Here at Retarculus, we don't practice BDSM and we have no safe words. So, uh, let us begin! Yeah! We're gonna start this tale off with a classic love triangle. And <laughs> don't they all start this way? In this particular triangle, you have the slewer, the cuckold fiancé, and the hotel worker! <laughs> I want to avoid saying cuckold too much because that's how you catch a bullet. <laughs> Let's start off this tale with a backstory about the happy couple. First, we have Louise Chesney, age 24, and the fiancé, Paul, and I'm not going to use his last name because he's already been run through the shithouse, if you know what I mean. Listen to me, Paul. Don't write a check ever against a woman who's still riding the cot carousel. You're 48 years old. You're over here. You're clearly, your big head is overpowered. The little head. You're worried about the deductible fees and costs. While well, she's over here riding the cock carousel, obviously doing the more cock and coming home with her tonsils buttered. What the f were you thinking? Edit that out. <laughs> you pulled all the strings out, went full retard against this young piece of ass here. And then you went all the way to Jamaica to plan your wedding. Like that was going to work out. You are made of stupid. Okay, here's how this story supposedly went. Because you gotta remember, we're only getting her side of the story. Her and her fiancé go to Jamaica to plan a wedding, and she meets this hotel worker, and she supposedly only kisses him one time. That must have been one hell of a kiss, because guess what? She flew back to England, dumped Paul, and spent 10,000 bucks flying back and forth to f*** this guy like a rabbit. That is one expensive Jamaican pogo stick. So, uh, how'd that go for you? What, two and a half bucks a thrust, huh? And all of this supposedly came about from one kiss. <laughs> that is one big pile of shit. Oh yeah, and there's a, a bouquet of rotten fish crotch. And of course, a cup of Jamaican clam chowder on the side. Winning new. No. You know the woman only cops to the minimum things you can prove. Other than that, Never happened. I think she got tongue massaged from head to toe and got her tonsils butter and punched in both holes. Just saying. I've said it before and I'll say it again. She won't be the first to go cuckoo for Coco Penis Puffs. Just saying. Just got dark in here. Not that I know anything about that, so I'm just gonna go watch some Space Ghost. Nigga, please. <laughs> So after she spent all her money riding this Jamaican pogo stick all over the place, <laughs> she's now penniless. Wah. And shocker, he cheated on her. <laughs> Winning. All right, woman. Let me explain this to you. You're 24, you should know better. But he pulled a classic pump and dump on you. So what really happened is you're a pump and chump. Now that you spent all your money and you're on the verge of bankruptcy and homelessness, you want us to feel sorry for you? <laughs> F*** off, edit that out. So suck it up and quit your crying. I know, you guys are like, how did this story that is so small and personal get into a national paper as a news story? <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> this woman is a cheating, lying slur, but guess who's getting all the sympathy? Because as a dude, you know, we have all this privilege, so who really cares? And this is the world the Western feminism has created. Because only here you can be the villain and the victim at the same goddamn time. And if the roles were reversed, male privilege out the window and they would nail that dude to a cross for doing the exact same shit. I know the word man and meal ticket both start with M, but that's about it. And now we're going to go through her list of grievances, which she did to herself. Wah. So she's penniless, homeless, and she had to work 12-hour days to pay for the trips to go see him. Wah. Now, was anybody really twisting your arm to make you pull all that bullshit? No. Sorry, Louise, but this is what happens when you sock puppet a dude and treat him like shit. Karma's a bitch, and reality is a harsh mistress, and she has a 13-inch strap-on. So bend over and get ready to take that tip hentai style, because it's coming right out your mouth, and it's that long. 
Your friends warned you. Paul warned you. And your family disapproved of the entire situation and you pressed on anyway. Pop, you're ripping on this chick too much. What about the hotel worker? <laughs> All right, let's talk about him now. So this Jamaican hotel worker named Kathy Brown pulled the classic pump and dump mixed with the string along. <laughs> Golf clap for him. Winning. And that is some multitasking that some of you single mothers out there can respect. Check out the episode. And this whole thing was so flawlessly executed by him. There's no way you were the first. This type of flawless technique is practiced and well rehearsed. There's a lot of pools out there that I know could not get a woman to dump their fiance, dump $10,000 into him and fly halfway around the world just so they can ride the pogo stick. So now of course, yay feminism, your only recourse is to play the victim card. I encourage everyone who sees this video, check out the links below and read this article for yourself because it reeks of nothing but bullshit. You're a damaged goods lady. Fuck you. Nothing spells bullshit more than you posing for a professional photo shoot where they can photoshop you so you don't look like you brushed your teeth with Yoohoo and flossed with a jump rope. Not only that, but they don't really talk about your fiance in depth and they demonize the Jamaican dude. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're not the victim in this story. You are the perpetrator. Yes, Caffrey Brown pulled a dick move and there is some responsibility on his behalf. But he didn't take an engagement ring from another dude and then cheat on him. You did that. And you know why? Because you're an idiot. You're a betrayer and a whore. And this entire thing is a complete cunt move. So only a complete cunt like this would pull a Darth Vibrator maneuver and then play the victim. I don't know what the crazy bitch is on. But you should cut the loose and hang about the business. But I will give you this, baby. <laughs> Two golf claps because you just put one more nail on the coffin of marriage. And one of those claps is for the Jamaican, because I'm sure you got a shot in the butt and some pills and a harsh talking to you from your doctor. <laughs> you done fucked up. So now the entire world knows <laughs> that you can't be trusted. You did a photo shoot, had your story on a national paper so men can Google you down the road <laughs> and avoid you like the goddamn plague. I know your ticket says uh, to Jamaica, but all I see is a one-way ticket to poverty. <laughs> Winning. So when you get that Lover's Lane catalog in the mail, you might want to invest and get a couple cats because that's probably all you're going to get in the future and you so deserve it. And with that, I have come to the end of my rope of sympathy. Oh, you didn't see it? <laughs> and uh, you feminists out there who want to rip me a new one, you just go ahead, comments below. I already got like 17 to 21 of them already. How do you think I get to spew so much shit? <laughs> Winning! No. Karma's a bitch and we don't give a f Edit that out. And with that being said, check out our links below. You'll find a link to Amazon for Aaron Clary's book, Bachelor Pad Economics. And after you buy the book, you probably have some change left over. Check out our Patreon and PayPal links and send it to us because we can use it. And Miss Chesney, I know you're out there. So why don't you hit the subscribe button? Because <laughs> if you do, maybe I can pull some strings and get you a date. <laughs> or maybe I won't. It would be easier to pick fly shit out of pepper while wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> Louise Chesney. Yeah. Right, so it's a love triangle, it's a classic love triangle, which is actually a whore yeah. triangle. Yeah. All right, I'm opening the beer it's a, in front of the camera. For those idiots that say I don't drink, really drink on the set, I do. <laughs> but just think of the fun. Yeah, like, wait, what? What the f does that say? <laughs> Cunt. You guys are like, Pop, you've been banging on this. Uh, actually, I'm not no, banging. Bang no. No one wants to bang. Ripping on her, bagging on her. Right. Oh, That's God. so f up. Ugh.